Hey, it's Courier Girl, and guess what? I got a new phone. So, I wasn't going to make a video about this because it's like, well, so what? Everybody gets new phones, not a big deal. But, there's something related to being a courier here, so I thought, I'm going to tell you guys about it. So, if you remember a couple months ago, I was kind of complaining about my phone, how I would make videos and then they'd be out of sync after a couple minutes and it was just a real pain in the butt. And I got around that by um, getting a different camera app for my phone, which worked great, but it was still, it's a couple years old, it was getting a little wonky. Sometimes the apps that I use for my courier jobs weren't, they were crashing or they weren't saving information. So I knew its days were numbered, but if you're like me, maybe you hate to get a new phone because then you got to set stuff up. And even if you can transfer most of your information, there's still the little quirks and some things don't transfer right. And it's just a pain in the butt. I didn't want to reset everything up. But the other day, actually one day last week, it came to a head and I had to get a new phone. So here's what happened. I was at a stop making a delivery and for this particular job I have to scan boxes like scan barcodes and the first two scanned fine but the next one not only did it scan but my phone completely shut off would not come back on and so I'm like crap I can't scan this I am out in the middle of nowhere I was like literally out in the country delivering to this person um, and I didn't really know how to get back to the highway. I didn't know how to get back to or what the address of my next stop, sorry. Um, and I was like stuck. Like, what do I do? So, oh, and I couldn't call dispatch and let them know that there was a problem. So I went ahead and gave the person the rest of their packages and wrote myself a little note, you know, of how many they got and the person's name and everything. And... I asked how to get back to the highway because I wasn't sure. I was like an hour away from my house. And I remembered that my next stop, which fortunately was my last stop of the day, was about 10 minutes away from where I live. So I went ahead and drove home. It was like an hour, hour and 10 minutes. And when I got home, I looked up the directions on, you know, on my computer and printed them out so I could get to the next stop used a different phone to call dispatch and let them know what happened and they were able to take care of it. They were totally cool. This company is like so laid back and so cool to deal with. And right after I made my next delivery, I went and I bought a new phone. So here I am talking on this new phone with this you know, new video thing. And if you're watching this video, it means that it's all in sync and I'm really happy, okay? But I learned a few things. Number one, I thought about it. Do I want to have a backup phone? I mean, you know how I am. I like to have redundancy. I have an extra car in case my van breaks down. I can hop in my car and go. I have an extra set of keys for my van. And one of them is always attached to me, like attached to my belt loop or something. I don't put it in anything that wouldn't be permanently attached. Like I don't put it in a purse because what if you lock your purse in the car? with your extra keys and your other keys. Um, I have, you know, extra of everything with me. I have an extra change of clothes that I keep in the van because you never know when you're going to spill something or whatever. So all of that. So do I need an extra phone? Like, do you need an extra phone? Well, I thought about it. And this is the first time this happened ever to me where I was like stranded without a phone. And... I think I got my first cell phone in like 1987, maybe, back when they bolt it to your car and it was like this big clunky thing and you pick it up and it had a cord attached to the base. That's how long I've had a cell phone. And never have I had one just die in the middle of me needing it to do work. So I'm like, no, I don't want to pay for an extra line. I don't want to buy an extra phone. Or even if it's a really cheap phone, I still don't want to do it. But I did decide that there are a couple things that I need to do. First, you guys are going to so laugh at me about this. I completely forgot that I have navigation right in my van. I have like a GPS that I could have used and put my home address in or put the address of the next stop in. Duh, I never even thought of that because I don't use it. I use the navigation on my 
phone because when you're in an app, at least the apps that I use, you can just touch the address and it'll take you right to Google Maps. So why would I take the extra time to put it in the navigation in my van as well? I don't. So I could have gotten home instead of asking for directions back to the highway. Um, but I didn't even think about that. So that's number one. Remember, I have navigation. The other thing, and this is the important thing, that um, is kind of a tip for any of you, and this doesn't matter if you're a courier or not, I think it's a good tip to have, is write down your important phone numbers and keep them in like your glove compartment or somewhere in your vehicle so that if you ever get stuck with no phone, at least you'll be able to borrow a phone and make that call. I mean, who remembers phone numbers anymore, right? It's funny, I can remember the phone number of my best friend when I was like 10 because there were no cell phones back there. You had to know the phone number. And so I can remember that. I can remember my parents' phone number. Well, they still have it, so that doesn't count. But my best friends, some of the people at school, some of the early people that I work with, I remember old phone numbers of my own that I had um, in the past, like when I had house phones before I got cell phones and even old cell phone numbers. But today, I don't remember anybody's number except my own, really, and my daughter's. I remember hers. Um, so yeah, so write them down. You can make a computer document and print it or just write it in a notebook and put it somewhere in your vehicle so that if you need to call somebody in an emergency, like your phone dies, you can easily go and borrow somebody else's phone. And most people are more than happy to let you do that in an emergency. So that's it. I just wanted to tell you I got a new phone. So excited about it. Um, it's not an expensive phone. I'm a cheap phone person, but it does a job and I like the camera quality and I like that it is in sync. Woo. So here we go. Back to more videos and I will see you on the road.